everyone, welcome back here to Sills Corner. I'm so happy you all joined in today, especially for our first segment of Let's Get Our Hands Dirty here at Sills Corner, um, where we're going to be doing pretty much just getting our hands dirty. Some days you'll come and help me garden, maybe do a DIY around the house. Um, once we move, this will be kind of the day that I'll do walkthroughs with or maybe come shop with me. Anything that's going to be more hands-on is definitely today's type of style for our new segment. Um, today, since it, I'm, I live here in Illinois, and it is just, and I mean just by like barely at that, getting to the point where you can actually go garden and you don't have to worry about hopefully snow, fingers crossed. We've had our first whole week without snow. So <laughs> I'm finally getting out all these kits that I bought for my family and for myself. And we can get going on to that one today. Today we are doing one from Back to the Roots is at least a company that has made this. And I absolutely love Back to Roots as a company themselves. They thrive to bring knowledge and growth and learning to adults and children alike and if you actually get one of their product and then upload some photos with a specific hashtag that I'll um, I know I have it somewhere written down and I'll link down below that if you buy their product and like I said upload videos or pictures with it they will actually let you choose a school near you mm -hmm. and actually donate curriculum to that school is what they claim on all their websites and everything else so I absolutely love that I homeschool personally but um, that's still outrageous so I'm definitely going to find school nearby and see what they do with that because I don't think they'll send us stuff here for homeschooling but you never know um, but today we have their organic tomato grow kit. This is everything included. All you have to do is add water and kind of assemble it. So I figured it'll be great for our first little thing today. Something kind of quick, but still fun. And something that will eventually grow and definitely help my family out. Never mind, it will be super healthy in that, but it's always, you know, trying to teach the kids about growing their own food and be more cleaner and everything. So this is perfect. Um, you, I got mines on Walmart. I mean, not sorry, scratch that. I got mines at Amazon, but I have found them at Walmart, Target, pretty much any and ever, all stores and websites. Their um, Back to Roots have sold their product, and you're probably going to see a lot from their company over the next few weeks here. This is fourteen forty nine, and this is their cherry tomato edition where this can grow all year round in your house that way. This is a plant that is fully safe to grow and stay in your house when you know it gets too cold outside or um, during the summer maybe you could take the little custard and actually put it outside. So either way it's actually a great thing. Um, another thing about the company apparently is in 2022 they were actually named best in stem which is again associated with kids learning and a curriculum and stuff like that which again i'm super excited about and definitely someone i want to you know back and that so um why don't we jump into this and start making our first little planter <laughs> definitely comes heavy duty um, like I said, I got mines from Amazon, but it was styrofoamed around. They make sure of it. Oh, wow. There might not be a lot to do. I figured it would be more than that. I haven't actually opened it before now. But first thing I pulled out is this giant glass, like, I want to say mason jar, but it's not quite. It almost reminds me of, like, a spaghetti jar um, with a black lid. I Mind you, I absolutely love that. It does have little vent holes in the top, and then it is full of dirt and you can actually see all like the it's probably more like the miracle grow type ah. okay it's definitely loose and it feels good though then in here we have a little note from them i'm guessing those are the seeds fertilizer stick some kind of little sticker which you know me i love stickers Let's see, it, um, according even to the box, it's got one through step four. It's organic cherry tomato seeds selected to thrive in this container 
Garden container year round, no transparenting needed. Um, premium fertilizer, a nutri yeah, nutrient boost for juicy tomatoes. Glass mason jar planter, watch your roots grow and know exactly when to water. Custom soil blend, designed to retain moisture and support vir various growth plants. So in other words, even after, from whenever this plant does die, I can easily reuse this for a whole new plant, which I absolutely love. And then it just shows you ideas, you know, on how to cook and eat and all that with it. Okay. Yep. Okay. Pretty, really easy instructions. The front page is um, literally just everything I just pulled out and showed you guys. Okay, next is... Okay, add one cup of water to the soil, sprinkle about six to eight seeds, and push each a fourth of an inch down into the soil. Place planter in the sunny window for eight hours of direct sunlight a day. Recommend watering, it's a fourth of a cup twice a week. And then that's about it. When seedlings reach about two inches tall, use your thumb and forefinger to remove all but about three of the healthiest seedlings so they only recommend to keep three seedlings going afterwards but that's fine with me when the flower appears six to seven weeks push one fertilizer spike into the soil so in other words wait until they're quite larger before it pulled but i said one is there more than oh yeah there is actually two of the little spikes in here That's really cool. Push one fertilizer stick into the soil away from the stems and roots. When flowers open, tap the base of the plant for 30 seconds to help pollination. When small tomatoes appear, add the second fertilizer stick. Okay, I'm sorry, that's why I stopped for a second because it caught my attention. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> and then their little sticker is literally just the back to their roots. I guess they expect you to put on their plant. I'm not sure if I will or not. So, well, since there's really almost nothing to do on this one, why don't we just start this? Okay. So, they're actually a few more than that on here two three four five okay definitely a few extra but I will as they said just yank out all but three and they want about a fourth of an inch down and then cover slightly and I got about a cup in here. I honestly was guessing because any other plant I've done like this, you only need a tablespoon. So this should be good though. Oh wow, you can actually see it kind of running down. I'm not sure if you can catch it on camera. No, I don't look at it. That's, it's definitely different and unique. You can actually see it running down so this would be a terrific thing i might think about buying more of these just to actually do with our kids for one of their like science projects there we go it didn't seem like it was pouring down this side so oops i just poured that all over my desk There we go. That looks about right. And I guess that's about it for this one. I was really expecting to have to like open the dirt and put everything in it. But I guess for our first one, it ain't a bad idea to just have something quick and easy. <laughs> it didn't expect quite that easy. But 
Hey, <laughs> this is what happens when you don't open a package before you start recording. But I hope you did enjoy this and I will keep you updated, especially on my Instagram. It'll actually probably be best. Maybe I'll do a quick little TikTok or something like that. But um, as it starts to grow, I'll, like I said, take some pictures, shoot them up there and that way you guys can keep invested on this if you wish. We will be doing a bunch of other type of planters and all that on here too and actually when we go out to do our garden I've got a bunch of above ground beds and a whole thing planned for that. So I hope you guys will stick around. I promise some of them will be a lot more active than this. I really was expecting this to be a little different. Um, but I'm still okay with it. I'm still more than happy with the fact of having some cherry tomatoes in my house in a few weeks. And let me know what you think. If you think this was a good idea or something you would use maybe for your kids. Even just for fun or even just for yourself. Um, that's all I really have for today. I do love you guys. And I guess I will see you here tomorrow on Wednesday for a haul. See you guys. Bye.